let us write C program to convert octal number to the equivalent decimal number for the positive integer provided by the user. As we know octal is 8 digit unique 8 digit number and decimal is unique 10 digit number. Let us take an example of octal number 327 and see how to convert that into decimal. For that first we have to take the rightmost digit. Here the rightmost digit is 7. That has to be multiplied by 8 to the power of its position. 8 because octal has 8 unique digits to the power of 0 here because it is the 0th position from right side. The next digit is 2 from 327. That has to be multiplied by 8 to the power of 1 because 8 is the unique digits of octal to the power of 1 represents the position of 2 in 327 from right side. Then 3 has to be multiplied to the power of uh, multiplied by 8 to the power of 2. So we are taking the rightmost digit multiply by 8 to the power of its position and the summation of all these will give as the equivalent decimal. See 8 power of 0 is 1 hence 1 multiplied by 7 is 7. Similarly 8 to the power of 1 is 8 and multiplied by 2 is 16. 8 power of 2 is 64 and 64 multiplied by 3 is 192. So if we add 7 plus 16 plus 192 it is 215. The decimal equivalent of the octal number 327 is 215. So as a first step we have to take the rightmost digit multiply it by 8 to the power of its position. The summation of all these things will provide the equivalent value of decimal. Let us take one more example 7524 which is the octal number so, if we expand for decimal conversion, first the unit position 4 multiplied by 8 to the power of 0 plus 2, 2 is the second digit from right side, to multiplied by 8 to the power of 1 and so on. Please note the rightmost position of the digit is taken as 0, that is why 8 to the power of 0 is the first one. Subsequently we see 8 power of 1, 8 power of 2 and 8 power of 3. So 4 multiplied by 8 power of 0 is 4, 2 multiplied by 8 power of 1 is 16 and 5 multiplied by 8 power of 2 is equal to 320 and 7 multiplied by 8 power of 3 is 3584. The summation of all these things will provide the equivalent decimal value which is 3924. Hence the octal number 7524 is represented in decimal as 3924. So now we have seen the example of octal to decimal conversion by applying the algorithm. First we have to start from the rightmost digit 
and multiply by 8 to the power of its position. Let us implement this algorithm in the C code. For that, let us declare the octal number and decimal number as integers. Octal number is the one for which we will get the input from the user. Decimal number is the one where the converted equivalent decimal value will get stored. Let me initialize decimal number to 0. So, first let us uh, get the octal positive integer from the user for which we have to convert it into equivalent decimal number. As we know, octal number is unique 8 digits from 0 to 7. Whereas decimal number is unique 10 digit from 0 to 9. Hence input value of octal will be between 0 to 7. It will not have 8 and 9. As we have seen in the algorithm, octal number if it is not equal to 0, we will be doing the decimal conversion. So, we will start in while loop to check that the octal number is not equal to 0. As a first step, we will get the rightmost digit. We can get this with modulo of 10 operation on the octal number we have received from the user. So, now reminder will have the rightmost digit of the variable octal number. Let us check this by printing if we are uh, having the rightmost digit uh, in the uh, remainder variable. For that just I am including a printf statement uh, and also the step because it is a while loop. So let us see at each step what is the value coming to the variable remainder. Uh, in order to get these steps, I am also going to declare a variable integer i and reminder to hold the rightmost position. Let us start integer from 0th value i, i with 0th value. As the while loop will be executed uh, until octal number is not equal to 0, and we have to get the step also let us increment i by i plus with i plus 1 and let us truncate the rightmost digit in octal number so that next time the octal number will get shifted to right side by one position this while loop will be continued until octal number is not equal to 0. We have not yet done the conversion of octal to decimal but let us see this remainder value and uh, for the octal number 327 let us see if we are getting the rightmost position as desired stored to the remainder value it's a three digit number so we have a remainder uh, while loop running for three steps seven at step zero two at step one and at step three we got three so our, we are correctly getting um, the digits starting from rightmost position and by dividing it by 10 the values are getting truncated or shifted to right by 1. Now let us go back and apply the formula for octal to decimal conversion which is nothing but taking the rightmost digit which is stored in the remainder and multiply it by 8 to the power of its position. So, as we know, i is holding the step, which is nothing but the position of the digit. So, 8 to the power of i, we will use the library function power and i plus plus has to happen after this power conversion. Otherwise, we will increment before doing the power of operation with i. As we have seen, i is already initialized to 0. So, at the first unit position, i will hold the 0 position. Then we will truncate the rightmost position after this conversion. And uh, at one stage, it will 
come out of while loop when octal number is equal to 0. Since power is a built-in library function, it is we have to include its corresponding header files. So let us include math.h where pow power built-in function is available. So now we have converted octal to decimal and that is stored in the variable decimal number. Let us print it to the console after conversion, the corresponding octal number. corresponding decimal number for the octal value. So let us verify our algorithm. First we will give 327 and the decimal equivalent is 215. As it is a three digit, it has undergone three while loops. That's why we see three reminders. Let us do one more conversion and provide the digit as 7524 octal. As it is a four digit, it has um, undergone four loops starting from rightmost position 4257. And the decimal equivalent of 7524 octal is 3924. Surprisingly, last two digit of octal and decimal is 24. Okay, so we are uh, doing this conversion inside our while loop by taking the rightmost digit and multiplying it with 8 to the power of its position. And... Uh, storing it to the variable decimal number we are truncating or shifting the digits to the right side and we executing the while loop until the number is not equal to 0.